Bonjour, je m'appelle Dr. Tin et bienvenue à French 1311, chapitre 1, leçon 7. Aujourd'hui, nous allons étudier le verbe être. Le verbe être. Hello, my name is Dr. Tin and welcome to French 1311. Chapter 1, Lesson 7. Today we are going to study the verb to be. Le verb être. Le verb être. Page. Page. Dix-neuf. Page. Vingt. Deux. Page 19, page 22. Le verbe être, le verbe être, le verbe être. Être means to be. So, we will learn how to say I am, you are, he, she, it, or one. Is we are right, you all are, and they are. Ça va très bien. So, être, être, ok, to be. Now, first of all, let's talk about the Pronouns, the subject pronouns, the pronouns that will be doing the action, the pronouns that will be described by the verb être. Okay? Okay. When we say pronouns, what we mean is pronouns will replace nouns these nouns can be proper names like Paul like Sandrine like Mireille like Janet okay and you replace these names like you if you want to say Sandrine is beautiful. You can say she, right? It's beautiful. So the she replaces Sandrine. So this is what we call pronoun, a pronoun. Okay? John and Paul can be replaced by they, right? Très bien. Okay, so these are the pronouns. The subject pronoun, when we say the subject, they, 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 they are the ones doing the action. The ones being described by the verb être. You realize that the verb will change in connection with its pronoun. The verb forms. Right? You will have several verb, verb forms. The verb être will change in connection with the pronoun. The verb forms, right, is what is called conjugation. Conjugation. La conjugaison. La conjugaison. To do a conjugation, you will say to conjugate. Or uh, in French, Conjuguer. Conjuguer. Alors, nous allons conjuguer le verbe être au présent. So, we are going to conjugate the verb être, the verb to be, in the present tense. Ça va? Très bien. So, the pronouns first. Je means I. Right? I. 
Un tu au milieu. Ok? But it's you singular. You alone. Ok? And then il would be he. It can also mean it. Ok? We talk about that later on. Elle can mean she. Okay, it can also mean it when it replaces a feminine singular noun, right? The it here will replace a thing when that thing is masculine singular. On, right, means one when you are speaking generally and you say we speak French here. One speaks French here, right? Très bien, okay? Nous, nous means we. Vous means you, okay? But here it means you, plural, several people, all right? You plural, okay? Let me write it very well. So you and is plural. And then here, il will mean they. It means all guys, they are a combination of guys and <clears throat> Girls. Elle will mean they, referring, replacing all women. Okay. So, je, répétez, je, 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 tu, 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 il, il, elle, on, il, elle, on, nous, nous, oui, okay, vous. You are, you plural, you are. Il, they, elle, they are women. Here it can be all guys or a mixture of guys and girls. Okay, now the verb être, the verb être will change its form to agree with the pronoun, okay? So you see that être will change to suis when it's je, when the pronoun is je. So je suis, right? Tu es. Il, elle, en est. Avec T, with a T at the end. But the sound is the same for E here and then E here. Tu es, il, elle, en est. But here you have to add your T when you are writing it. Okay, nous sommes. The S is silent. Just like the T here is silent. Nous sommes. We are. Vous. And then I'm going to do the linking. Again, the liaison. Because this is a vowel, right? Vous êtes. Vous êtes, êtes, vous êtes, ok, vous êtes, ils, elles, sont, ok, je suis, tu es, il, elle, en est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils, elles, sont, je suis, tu es, il, elle, en est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils, elles, sont. Ça va? Ok. So, I am, you are, she, the L in the middle is a she, right? A he, she, one, S. Nous sommes, we are, vous êtes, you are, il, elle, sont. You realize that we do the conjugation also in English a little bit, right? You will say, I am. See the AM 
right? The verb is to be, right? When it's conjugated, the to be with I becomes I am, all right? You will become you are. He will become he is, all right? And then it goes back to we are, right? You are, they are. So we do a little bit of the conjugation also in English. I am, you are, he, she, one, it, right? Très bien. So the same thing, conjugation. You do a lot of it in French. Je suis, right? Répétez, je suis, tu es, il, elle, on est. Nous sommes, vous. Z do the liaison here, the Lincoln, vous êtes, il, elle, sont. Ça va? Très bien. All right? Now, when do we use être? The verb to be. When do we use it? Here. This is you, right? But it's you, singular. Right, so, tu es de Paris, tu es de Paris, right, and this is plural, right, but you realize the person being used with is one person, right, remember we talk about informal, right, and formal way of greeting a person, okay, if you look at Number two, vous êtes de Paris, Madame Ibrahim, okay, vous êtes de Paris, Madame Ibrahim, okay, Madame Ibrahim, all right, is being asked formally the question, the vous there referring to Madame Ibrahim is not the vous plural, right? Is the vu the formal vu the formal way of doing a presentation, right? So, Madame Ibrahim is asked the question respectfully. So that's why the vu form here is used. It's not the vu plural. It's the formal you, right? Here we just talking to friends, right? So, or somebody who is the same age as we are. So, you ask the question using the tu for tu es de Paris? Are you from Paris? Tu es de Paris? Talking to your friend, you're talking to somebody who is not older than you, right? Now here. Madame Ibrahim is married, right? Okay, and is an older woman, right? Somebody you have met for the first time, remember? Okay, that would be a formal situation. So you will use the vu to refer to that person that you have met for the first time. Or that person who is older than you, right? Très bien. So the vous here is not a plural you. It's just the former you. Okay? Vous êtes de Paris, ma Madame Ibrahim? It could have been Monsieur Ibrahim if you were talking to, right? A man. If it's a young lady that you haven't met before, you meet him for the first time. You can also say Mademoiselle Ibrahim, right? The last name. Vous êtes de Paris? Madame Ibrahim? The vous here refers to the former you. Très bien. And another pronoun is ce, ce, ce. Right? When it's used with a verb, it's only used with the verb être. Okay? It's only used with the verb être. 
Ok, one is used with the verb être, it is always used with the e verb être. It will be used with the third person singular form, E, avec T, with a T, when it's used with a, pro, a, a noun that is plural, right? A plural noun, then it will be used with the third person form that will go with the <clears throat> Il or elle, plural, right? So, some will be used with plural nouns, and then e will be used with singular noun. C'est un livre. And then you see that here we have contracted the su. We've dropped the e and put an apostrophe there. It's just that the su right here has come into contact with the e eh, here. Yeah. Alright. So two vowels meet, you drop the first one and then you put your apostrophe. So it becomes this. Right? So set and leave. It is a book. Okay, c'est un professeur. It is a professor. Okay, now when it's used with plural nouns, ce is written in its full form, followed by the third person plural form of the verb être. You know, the third person, one, two, three, there. Plural, right? So, ce sont des livres. Ce sont des livres. Professeur has become plural here. So, ce sont des professeurs. C'est un livre. Ce sont des livres. C'est un professeur. Ce sont des professeurs. Ça va? Now, être is used to describe your profession, to describe your nationality. To describe your situation in life, right? Are you poor? Are you rich? Are you married? Right? Okay. To sometimes describe your zodiac sign, right? The sign under which you are born. Are you a Gemini? Are you a Sagittarian? Right? Ça va? Très bien. And then... It can also be used to describe your religion when it's being used to describe those things. Religion, your nationality, your situation in life, your zodiac sign, right? Then, you don't use, you don't use the definite, you don't use the indefinite article a in front of your nationality, right? You don't use a in front of your profession, or you don't use in in front of your profession, right? So you will say just you will conjugate the verb, but to agree with the pronoun or the noun or the proper name, right? And then the profession will follow the verb without you saying a. Here you are saying I am a professor, but the French, right? You just say je suis professeur without the un. un. Here you are saying she is a student. Right? She is a student without using the une in French. Elle est étudiante. Elle est étudiante. Elle est étudiante. Elle est étudiante. She is a student. You know that the article, the indefinite article, in, is not used. Right? 
Tu es américain. You are American. You are an American. Right? You see that the un is not used? There. Okay. Here is the adjective. Right? So, you don't use, obviously, the article. Il est riche. Il est riche. It can be, il est pauvre. He is poor. Alright? It can be, Il est marié. He is married. Right? Il est célibataire. He is single. Alright? So, descriptive, right? Adjectives are normally used with the verb être. Now, here, in number five, you're just describing your zodiac sign, right? Are you a Gemini? There too, you realize that un or une is not used. So, if you want to say I am a Sagittarian, right? You just bring your sign without using un or une in front of the sign. Je suis Sagittaire. Je suis Sagittaire. Je suis Sagittaire. I am a. See the indefinite article is dropped. Right? Très bien. So the same thing with professeur, étudiante, américain. You do the same thing with your zodiac sign. No indefinite article. In French, il est Gémeau. Alright, il est Gémeau. He is Gemini. He's a Gemini, right? The twins. Okay. So, I will say, je suis Gémeau. I am a Gemini. Alright? Whereas in English, you have a in front of Gemini. In French, you don't need it. Alright? Il est Gémeau. Ça va? Très bien. Now, you can also use être to talk about where you are from. If you're doing that, right, you have to use the preposition from. In French, it's de, 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 e, de, e, de, e, de, e, de, e. Okay, de, e, de, right, from. So you will say, je suis de Paris, I am from. Okay, after être, use de, and then tell us the town you are from. Right, we will deal with these locations later on, right? For now, if you want to talk about where you are from, the town, we're dealing with towns. We will deal with countries later on, right? You will use de, just de, 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 from. Je suis de Paris. Nous sommes de New York. Nous sommes, we are, okay? The de here means from. Nous sommes de New York. Okay. And okay, here, it just, mon anniversaire. You see, this is the now, right? So, when you're using the verb, you have to conjugate the verb to agree with your noun. Here, you don't have the pronoun, right? You have the noun, mon anniversaire, my birthday, right? So, you will use, you look here, you see, mon anniversaire, anniversaire is masculine so you will use it right in english that it right is the masculine form il but it will be translated as it in english mon anniversaire est le 15 février right mon anniversaire est le 15 février. My birthday is, right, 
le 15 février. Ça va? So, si il y a le verbe est, we'll have to agree with the noun, mon anniversaire, and if you want to do the correct, use the correct verb, you look at the pronouns, you see that it will mean it in English. If you come here, the it here is il, all right, because this is masculine, the it, right, is just like il, but when you're doing the translation, it's it, right, here it means it is on the 15th of February. Mon anniversaire is masculine, so it will be replaced by il, and the verb form that goes with il is e. Ça va? Ça va bien? Très bien. Au revoir et à bientôt.